All right, good morning, everybody. It is currently 7 a.m. on a Saturday, just woke up, and I'm gonna take you on a journey with me today of a day in the life of a software engineer building his side project on the weekend. Essentially, I'm building a side project right now with the eventual goal of turning the side hustle into my main hustle. I still have my day job. So the only time that I can really work on this is before work or after work on the weekdays or on the weekends. And since today is a weekend, we got a lot of work to do. We got some engineering things I gotta build, new features. And since it's only myself and one co-founder, we also have some marketing stuff that we have to work on as well since we don't have a big team. So we gotta take that responsibility on our own. So we have a lot of things coming up today. I'll give you some more details later on, but we're gonna start off the morning with a quick workout. And then afterwards, we're gonna dive into the juicy details of what we're gonna be building. So I'll see you in a bit. show you what exactly I'm building. So right now I'm building a tool called Nexus and you can find the URL to it at nexusresearch.ai. And I'm basically trying to create an AI powered note taking tool. Now, let me show you what exactly that entails. So when you log in, you can then create any type of research project, whatever that project may be. In this case, I have this weird, stupid title I made for like a silly TikTok video for marketing. Uh, and then in any project, you can then upload any relevant documents that you want to take notes on. Maybe this is like a homework assignment where you have to read like three to four different papers. In this case, I think I'm uh, summarizing a bunch of medical research since I was showing this to a friend who does a lot of medical research. Now, when you go in, this is going to look pretty familiar. You're going to have like the document on one side and then the note taking experience on the right hand side. So first thing that's really nice about this is the fact that you can chat with your PDF. It's pretty standard. You can just ask any questions that you want and it will then be answered with the information that is shown inside of this PDF. So for example, since this is a medical paper, you might want to ask something like, what is the patient population of this paper? And when you ask this question, it only answers with knowledge that is stored in that paper and nothing else. So as you can see, it returns a response of the patient population of that paper. And then what's really special is this note taking section right here. So normally this would be like a Microsoft Word or, or Google Docs or Apple Notes. You just take your notes right here, super cool. But this note taking section is special because it is contextually aware of what document is currently open. So right now, if I press this forward slash button, I can then immediately ask a question to the document. So in this case, it has the same response from the previous question that I asked of what is the patient population of this paper? So then when you ask that question, you can save that to your notes immediately right there. But then let's say you wanna ask a question that is not gonna be answered in this paper, something more general knowledge. You can then ask a question to our AI model. For example, I think this paper is about a disease called diabetic retinopathy, and I don't really know much about that. So I want to learn more about it. So I'm going to ask a general question to the AI model of what is diabetic retinopathy, send that question. And then as the response comes back, like, oh, cool, this is really useful. Then if you want, you can ask another question or you can save this response into your notes right there. So that's what I mean by a contextually aware note taking experience. Your note taking portion knows exactly what exactly you are trying to take notes on at that moment in time. The first feature that I'm trying to add is I want to make a little modal pop up when the user first signs in saying, hey, we're going to give you a free Nexus Pro trial for like two weeks or so so that you can try it out and see if you like it. So I got to have some modal pop up there. And then number two, I want to have some text appear at the top right here in this header bar saying you have X number of days left in your free trial. Because the way that Nexus works is that there is an always free tier that you always have access to. I think you can upload like two documents at a time and always chat with them. But then there's also a pro tier which lets you upload an unlimited number of documents and also lets you do multi paper chat. So you can do like a quick little demo right here. Essentially what you can do is you can ask one question to multiple papers at once, which allows you to compare and contrast answers between multiple papers. And then if you want, you can dive into a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that particular paper if you find something interesting. So that is also a pro feature. So those are the two things that I'm gonna be looking into adding today. A little welcome modal that pops up here and then some text right here in the header that tells you how many days left you have in your free trial. So. Let's get into it. One question that I always get asked is, why don't you raise some money to build your startup instead? Don't you want to quit your day job and be able to do the startup full time? Now that's a great question. And I definitely do want to just be able to work on my product full time. But at the same time, I don't really want to raise venture money because I feel like once you raise venture money, the game kind of changes. I have a lot of thoughts about the whole venture funding space. And don't get me wrong, it is a useful tool for certain types of companies or products that you want to build. But at least for me, I don't think it is necessary for what I am trying to build right now. I actually recently interviewed with Y Combinator, the really famous 
Startup Accelerator and in a couple of days I do plan to post my interview experience and some of the feedback and takeaways that I had throughout the interview experience where I go much more in depth about the whole bootstrap versus venture capital raising model. And while for me, it may feel stressful trying to balance two jobs of working my day job as a software engineer and then also building a product on the side, I think something even more stressful than that is gonna be trying to build your product full time, not getting any traction, burning money like crazy. Oh yeah, look at that sweet little upgrade model. So the way that I did it is I have it triggered with this uh, parameter that I pass in, onboarding is equal to true. And when that's set to true, this upgrade modal will pop up saying, hey, we gave you a free pro trial until the end of the year, no credit card required, gives you the list of the features that you want. And we're also gonna add a little message at the end saying, make sure to lock in the price now if you wanna get um, the cheapest price possible for Nexus Pro, you have the opportunity to do so until the end of the year. Now that we have that upgrade modal done, what else do I need to do? Oh, I'm gonna add a little banner. I wanna add a little banner at the top, like up here above this header bar saying like, hey, hope you're enjoying your free trial. You have X number of days left before the free pro trial runs out and you're gonna be downgraded to the free tier of two papers per day and two papers maximum per research project. And then afterwards, the last thing I need to do there is add, update the landing page to show the new like contextual notes, like in the note taking part, when you press the forward slash, the little, a uh, little drop down the action items. That's something that I think to add to the landing page too, because I think that's that's a pretty cool feature. I think it's kind of differentiated from what's out there. So those are my next two action items. So let's get into it. Now look, don't get me wrong. I love coding. That's why I have a whole YouTube channel dedicated to it. And I love building stuff as well. But I also understand it's the weekend and it's all about finding a balance in life. And that's why later on tonight, I'm also going to a friend's giving. And for that friend's giving, I baked these pretty good looking green onion scallion bread rolls. They were phenomenal. They were a huge hit. And yes, they tasted just as good as they look in this video. All right, so we got that feature done. You can see right here in the header bar, if the user is on their free trial, it will tell them how many days left on their free trial of Nexus Pro. I think most of the end work that I had planned is complete for now. So that's always good, but now that means I have to transition to the part that I don't always love, which is the marketing part of it all. Because what I've learned over the past two years of trying to build my own apps, is the fact that just because you build a cool product, people will not automatically use it. You need to market the living hell out of it. One of my biggest downfalls is the fact that I truly love coding. Like I love, love coding. Just like it's, for me, it's more of like an art. Like I feel like me building my apps, building software, it's like my art and I, I hate like wanting to try to monetize it, to try to like make marketing content to sell it. But at the end of the day, I know that my end goal is I want to be able to not work my nine to five job, which I'm still doing right now. Um, and my real life goal is so that I can just like live my life um, fully funded by the apps that I built. So with that in mind, I got to make a lot of marketing content. In case you didn't know, I actually made a separate social media account right here. You can find it at Tom's Study Tips, but I've essentially just been doing a lot of social media marketing on there. And I have got to do a lot more of that marketing content to try to get people to use this product and try to get paying users. So that is unfortunately on my list coming up next. It's not the most fun, but it's work. You gotta do what you gotta do to make sure the app grows, gets users, gets paying customers. Now the next couple of hours is gonna be dedicated to filming content and I'll check back in with you later on. Yo, coming in from the editor's room, but I realized I don't have any B-roll or footage of me filming that marketing content because I only have one camera, so I can't film myself filming myself making content. Let me just give you an entire rundown of what my growth strategy is for social media. So since my product Nexus is mostly targeting students, I decided to make a completely separate social media account specifically for student-based content. I'm making a lot of content revolving student life, um, kind of like memes, funny skits, but then I also sneak in a couple videos where I specifically talk about Nexus as well. So far, the account's been around for maybe a month or so. I try to post four to five times a week. Some have gone decently viral. I think we have one video that has like a million views, but it's not converting as well as I would like to paying customers for Nexus. But at the end of the day, that is my main way I am planning to market my product all through social media marketing, specifically short form social media. I spent like two to three hours filming and editing a lot of videos and that's about it. All right, we're gonna go back to the video. Thanks. All right, so I just finished up most of the marketing work. I filmed a couple of TikTok short form videos that I'm gonna post hopefully for some more marketing. I think the product is kind of mature enough right now where major feature work 
is not going to determine whether or not somebody it becomes a paying customer or not. It's going to be all about marketing at this point. I know for me, because I just truly love coding so much, I'm really forcing myself to code as minimally as I possibly can and just focus all in on distribution and marketing because at the name of the game, like I said earlier in the video, it doesn't matter how good your product is if no one knows about it. So I'm working on that marketing portion of it, which is tough because it's not my forte. I'm learning to get better at it, but it's a skill that you have to develop, especially if you are trying to grow your own product, get customers, and eventually uh, try to make enough money to survive off of the apps rather than my nine to five job. But that is about it for now. It's getting close to the evening right now. I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this type of vlog. Definitely want to do more of this, kind of take you on this journey of me building so that you can see what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, some of the features that I'm working on, rather than just those typical talking head videos, which I definitely do still plan to do. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.